Good evening. Jerika is off. I'm Lilia Luciano. We begin with new fallout from the midterm elections. After predictions of a sweep that did not materialize, Republicans face a week that will be critical in deciding the future direction and leadership of the party. Set to grab the spotlight Tuesday, former President Donald Trump. He's been teasing for months that he'll run again for the White House. Tonight, ballots are still being counted in several states, with some races still too close to call. CBS Natalie Brand is on Capitol Hill tonight. Natalie? Good evening, Lilia. No matter how the final numbers shake out in the U.S. House and Senate, the majorities will be slim as congressional Democrats defied midterm election predictions. Thank you, Nevada. Incumbent Senator Catherine Cortez Masto celebrated Sunday. CBS News projected a narrow win over her Republican challenger Adam Laxalt, cementing Democratic control of the U.S. Senate even ahead of Georgia's December 6th runoff. The roots of democracy are deep and strong and real with the American people, as this election showed. CBS News estimates the U.S. House still leans Republican, but as new members arrive to Washington, D.C. for this week's orientation, divisions within the GOP are on display. I think that we certainly have to do a post-mortem uh, analysis here, really look at what took place. CBS News projects more than 150 GOP election deniers or those who raised questions about 2020 will serve in the new House. But in a number of high-profile statewide races, they lost. None will serve as top election officials in battleground states. Ballots are still being counted in Arizona. The race for governor between Democratic Secretary of State Katie Hobbs and Trump loyalist Carrie Lake still a toss-up. The former president putting the party at a crossroads. Those who were most closely aligned with the former president did underperformed. Uh, those who are talking about the future, who had managed their states well, they overperformed. When you're in opposition, you don't have a single leader. That won't be the case until we're through the 2024 nominating season and we have, and we have a new nominee. Natalie, we know former President Donald Trump is planning a big announcement on Tuesday. What has been the reaction within the party so far? Well, CBS News has learned that the former president plans to launch his third campaign for president despite pushback within the GOP party and even some allies urging him to postpone this announcement until after the Georgia Senate runoff. Some Republicans are also talking about other potential names, including Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and Maryland Governor Larry Hogan, a moderate, tells CBS News he's still considering a possible run but notes there's a battle for which direction direction the Republican Party will go. Lilia. Natalie Brand, thank you.